Michael, wonderful to see you. Another installment of the Arctic Winter Games upon us. Um, how aware were you growing up of the Arctic Winter Games? And can you give us a sense of how important it is to communities across the north? Yeah, I would say very aware. It's it's a big event um, for young athletes in the Northwest Territories and obviously across the Circumpolar region. It's one of the main events. Um, it's every two years. Uh, kids really look forward to it as a as a highlight, I think, of something, um, you know, as a sport achievement, but also as a, an event to sort of tick off their, their their life experiences or their sport experiences for sure. Michael, you competed in four Arctic Winter Games. Um, what level of pride did it bring you to compete at the Games? You know, I grew up in a club where um, the Arctic Winter Games was held in high regard. And so as a younger skater, I was looking forward to when I was age eligible to compete at the Arctic Winter Games. Um, and then, you know, being able to represent my territory for the first time, that was the first opportunity I had to do that. And uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of pride that goes into that. And um, it's obviously it's an international event as well, which is which was a first for me. Michael, one of the things we really want to capture in our coverage is, yes, of course, this is a sporting event and you want to win an ULU, a medal, and of course you won 15 of them. But can you just give us a little bit of perspective on winning and getting that recognition for being the best, but also the cultural aspect to all of this? Well, that's actually one of the coolest things about the Arctic Winter Games is that mixing between, you know, the sport program that you'd see in, say, the Winter Olympics and some of these traditional sports um, that, you know, were part of Dene culture, were part of Inuit culture, part of the circumpolar culture. All of the, uh, the Dene games in the Arctic sports are adaptations of, of um, whether it's movements or games that were played traditionally to train or practice or hunting cultures um, as ways of sort of carrying on those traditions and passing on the different techniques to younger um, individuals. Um, and you're also getting to interact with with different cultures. I think one of my best memories of that is in my first Arctic Winter Games um, in Yellowknife, I actually got to try some muktuk for the first time. It's it's whale blubber. I'd never eaten that before. Getting the opportunity to do that and see those types of things is one of the highlights of the games. You talked about tasting the whale blubber. I'm sure it tastes as, as real today as it was when you were eating it. Um, but is there a moment... Michael, um, over your four games that really sort of sticks out in your mind that really symbolizes and captures what these games are all about? I think one of the things that sticks out to me the most is actually the trading of uniforms. So I know that that happens at different levels, at different types of games, but it's something that really, really happens a lot at the Arctic Winter Games. Um, and it really it allows that mixing. So often in the closing ceremonies, you're going to see lots of people out on the floor in, in, in the arena or wherever the ceremonies are being held, trying to get a different jacket, trying to get a different pair of pants, trying to get a, a pin or a fleece or whatever it is. Right. Um, and I think that opportunity to really mix and, and to, you know, to speak with people from whether it's Alaska, whether it's from the Sami region, whether it's from, um, from Nunavik or, or in the years where some of the Russian states have competed, um, having that mix, that's the type of thing that I think really you take away um, and something that I really remember the most. I have some fond memories of trading for a Greenland toque that I really wanted. And and uh, and the Greenland Ox often has some of the nicest stuff. They've had seal skin mitts and jackets before. So um, look for them, I guess. 